This is an odd coin. Sasha used to collect them. He had six of them, I think. I wonder where the rest went. Now that I come to think of it, he gave me a strange coin long ago. It might be of use. Any idea what this remote control is for? Sasha used to take it with him whenever he'd go to see the old man. If we want to get out of here, we have to retrace your brother's steps. We need to go to the storage unit he mentioned. This place is gone. It was destroyed years ago. Everything in those units were either sold or destroyed. We should check it out all the same. Maybe someone knows who bought your brother's things. Your black market isn't very... hidden. Is it supposed to be? Well, the name black market implies a certain... criminal element. So, yeah. Uh-huh. I just thought it was called that because it was so dirty. So everyone in the district lives in this residential area? Oh no, 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 no way. There is far too many of us. There are dozens of other residential areas. This one's just the most central, so it's pretty busy. What can you tell me about this place? This district, I mean. As if you don't know. This is District 8. This is the heart of the Ark. But why do you say that? Everyone knows that without us, the Ark would fail. We're the ones who make it possible for the rest of you to survive. Food, water, none of that happens without the power we provide. Grigor, we'll talk later, okay? I'd like that. I'm not gonna talk about him with him standing right here. Very subtle. Hey, I'm list just point. I'd certainly win. That thing wouldn't be a shot of booze to me, but she very clearly said it was for women only. Hey Molly, you said women only? Does that mean only human women? No, it's open to all species. And don't think for a second I don't know that you're looking for a way to trick me. See ya, Molly. Why, hello there, sweet lady. I haven't seen you around these parts before. Care to make a wager on a game of chance? How's it work? It's very simple. One gold coin, three cups. You find where the coin is hiding and it's yours. Only five work units to play. Care to try your luck? How does this work again? I hide the coin under one of the cups, and you have to guess which one. If you guess correctly, you win my gold coin! I've seen this before. It's not a game, it's a con. You wound me, lovely lady! I'm an honest businessman. Come on, give it a try! Don't the police ever give you any trouble for gambling? Don't make me laugh! The cops care about one thing, and that's making sure everyone does their job in the factory every day. They could care less about what we do when we're not at work. Yeah, but it's great for business. Hey, I'll just point to what... The look of practiced insolence, the insincere smile. I smell a scam. Let's go, where's the... No, it wasn't there. Try again if you want. The pride. Cheetah. Hey, just put Grig going. We need that coin, Grigor. I know, but he won't give it to us. So we have to play the game. Alicia, listen to me. I've known this jerk for years. Nobody will play with him anymore, because he never loses. So he's cheating? Exactly. I don't have any money to play. Good. Then you don't have any money to lose. It's the only way to get the coin. Oh, man. <laughs> I think you ch Prove it, baby! Just one more time. Let's go! Where's the coin? Um, I want you to better explain this whole game to me. Explain? Really? Yes. Explain it. Um, in detail. I hide a coin. You tell me which cup it's under. 
You lose, I take your money. It's a rather old game, really. My money? Why would you take my money? Look, I don't know if the gases down here have caused you brain damage or what, but I'll just keep playing. This lovely lady here was just about to bet your money. No, it wasn't there. Try again if you want. The prize is now at 30,000 credits. Okay, good idea failing on purpose. Now beat it. Oh, oh, and here you are. Such a nerd. I'd be outraged if I didn't know how to appreciate a good swindle. Respect, sis. You know Grigor Blaine? I know he's been unwilling to ever part with any of his cash to play with me until now. Whatever you said to him, lady, thanks! What can you tell me about this place? This is the residential zone, where all the hard-working wage slaves who toil in the factories come to rest their heads. I'm a lead. Well, hello there, young lady. A fresh, lovely face, gracing horns, humble shop, and I am delighted to greet you, and I'm sure anything you need, want, covet, or desire, well, I'm the vol- I- Say, what could- Well, what can I offer? The missing piece? That extra invisible something? Call it fate, or luck, or fortune, but horn can supply it. I'm sure you can, I just- This beautiful collection of lucky charms, for instance. A lady like yourself could likely use a little extra good fortune in this one. Take a look, see? Perfect for you, as if it was made for you, as if it knew you were coming. No, I couldn't sell it, no. Well, yes, all right, for a woman of such grace and distinction as yourself, I could make an exception. I actually- No, no, don't worry about the money. Haggling is so gauche between friends. Not to worry, not to worry at all. I couldn't help but notice that you and Grigor are friends. Friends, yes, no more. I don't mean to imply anything. Only that I saw you leaving his residence. And Grigor, of course, is a favored customer, and I can make arrangements with him for payment. So there you go. Wear it in good health. Gorgeous, just like you. It's yours now. I, uh, wait. You are welcome. You are sincerely, deeply, very welcome, my dear. Not to say anything more, it is I who should be thanking you. Just seeing the smile on your face is my reward. Please, come back anytime. What the ever-loving fuck just happened? He's good? Hi, Horn, right? In the fur, my lovely friend. And how's that amulet treating you? You're back, so I must assume you're content with the purchase. I have several other articles of a similar nature that would flatter such a beautiful young woman as yourself, and it would- Okay, enough. I'm not here for the hard sell, Horn. I just want to talk a little, okay? By all means. Conversation is the means of forming friendship, trust, a bond between customer and retailer, and why would I not want that? Which reminds me, I haven't yet told you about my special discounts reserved for the friends of Horn, as I like to call them. You're relentless. You know that, right? So I've been told. Have you been here long? I don't think I've seen any other Valerians here in District 8. Been here my whole life, my friend, or all but. Arrived when I was a mere Catholic. And look at me now, a successful entrepreneur. So if this is the black market, shouldn't it be more, I don't know, discreet? Hidden? Otherwise it's not really a black market. Oh, this is a black market, believe me. All of our items are acquired illegally, I promise you. Smuggling, theft, robbery, fraud, even robbing graves. This is 100% legitimately illegal. We've even got illegally acquired technology like this little flying drone here. Oh, that's neat. How much does it cost? Oh, I'm sorry to say this, but this little beauty isn't for sale. It was a gift from a supplier and I can't part with it. So you're the only Valerian here. I'm curious. I've never seen any Valerian women. I mean, um... <laughs> well, I take it you're not flirting with me, but rather asking about them, and no answer, no. There aren't any Varelian females around. If you're asking about my personal romances, I have none. If you're wondering what they look like, well, they look like me or your friend there, just without the mustache. Not entirely true. Must have mustaches and big arms. 
Frankie! What happened to the storage area that used to be here? That was closed over ten years ago. It was left over for when the port was still working and then turned into a haven for smugglers to keep their goods or other contraband items out of sight. Shortly after I opened the black market, the authorities decided to close that area off and use the freight containers as extra housing. What else have you got for sale? Ah, uh, my dear friend, a fair question, but not the real question. The real question is not, what have I got for sale, but rather, what is it you need? The items in Horn's Emporium cover everything from the mundane to the arcane, the mild to the magnificent, and all of it available at reasonable prices to make every customer satisfied, and... Gil Gore wanted me to remind you that if you're gonna be spending his money, Horn needs to keep within Gil Gore's budget. Ah, well then, given that there's really only one thing I can offer at this time, this fine and incredibly useful hook, custom-made and of great value to its former owner, and that I am willing to part with at an almost laughable price. So low in fact that I sell it to you, I would be losing money. Okay, never mind. You drive a hard bargain, my friend, and I'm willing to do this for you, no one else. You are shrewd, a shrewd, cunning haggler. Yeah, sure. Okay, tell me about this hook here. Where'd you get it? I wanted gambling from a man who'd been mutilated by one of the machines in the factory. Okay, gross. Yep, he had it stitched to his arm. What happened to all the things that people were storing there? Those who could recover their items did so. In the case of unclaimed items, say left behind by someone who died, the containers were opened and the contents auctioned off to the community living in the residential district. So anything that was stored there could be anywhere in the district now? Yeah, pretty much. Have you spoken to the other Valerian here? No. I didn't want to risk locking horns with him. He's rather larger than I am. Reminds me of my mother, actually. Not sure why. They don't look alike, and mother had much longer hair, at least as I remember her. Were there many auctions? Some. Grigor refused to handle his brother's things. That was done by this guy named Sean. I think he and Grigor's brother were friends, because Sean had one of those coins that Sasha used to carry around. I don't suppose there was an inventory of what was auctioned off. Is there? Any way to know what was inside the containers? Don't know. The person who organized the auctions might have one. You wouldn't know who that was, would you? Or where I could find him or her? Oh, I haven't seen that guy for years. He used to be the overseer at the factory, but something happened I don't know what, and he got replaced by that drunkard over there. You seem to be pretty serious about trying to get that safe open. Any idea what's inside? That is the mystery. I don't know. I've been trying to get it open for years. It was left over from the last auction when they cleared the storage area, and nobody wanted it because nobody knew the combination. But I can't help wondering what sort of precious treasures it may hold. I'll tell you what. If I can open the safe, are you willing to split the contents? Hmm. You know how to pick locks? I've got some skill. Yes. this time just this junk? A couple of old magazines and a fake coin? Heh, <laughs> keep it. It's all yours. And the stethoscope? I've always wanted one. Oh, you're a girl who likes to play doctor, eh? I don't care. You can keep it. It's been of no use to me. Doesn't fit my ears. These are collector's items. Science magazines from back when the Ark was first built and then launched into space. These are literally hundreds of years old. An old mop that didn't stand a chance when faced with the might of Frankie. The head has come loose, and it would be easy to detach it from the handle. And now I have... a uh, <clears throat> incredibly valuable piece of basic adventuring gear. Either that, or you've made me an awesome back scratcher. Yeah, <laughs> I'm 
Did he? Did he? Did he? Ah, uh, I think you should go ask a guard about this. It's starting to get harsh. So highly caffeinated it will wake up your teeth and could be classified as a controlled substance in five separate districts. No, I can't. The metal is just too... That girl the fat man said it has a temper, right? Something important must be growing when they're sending people down here. You heard the girl. Stay tuned to frequency 104.6 in case boss man or any of his thugs call us with no orders. If they want one of boss man's thugs, they'll have one. A guy in the market told me about a murder ten years ago. A former overseer? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm looking for something the Overseer carried on that day. Could you tell me where I might find it? Oh, great! Excellent! So I can just go and get it? What? Why? After ten years? Okay, so who's handling the case? So you're saying I need to solve it. That's what you're really saying. So if I can solve it, can I get his personal effects? Alright, let me have access to the evidence and let me interrogate the suspects. I'll see what I can do. Can you at least tell me what you remember of that day? Just so Why was the smell so Interesting. Can you tell me about the But couldn't the killer have used a
and I'm going to start asking our... What is it with you? Not like things aren't complicated enough already. Now we have to solve a murder from 10 years ago without the evidence or anything to help us? I knew you were kinky. I had no idea you were a masochist. I am not kinky. I am sophisticated. We can do this. We have to do this. Relax. Alicia and Frankie, the detective duo. It'll be great. Okay, Miss One Half of the Detective Duo. Let me ask you something. Why were you so curious about the fact that the place stunk? Everything down here stinks. Most people forget details of things over the years. What they remember is what struck them most, right? Details that had a particular impact. A color, a smell, a taste. You can use it to sometimes trigger other memories. See? It smelled so bad. Oh, right, I remember. Like that. I take it back. You may possibly know what you're doing. 